Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. Uh, today we're gonna do our daily technical analysis update on gold and silver. We'll look at the dollar. We're gonna do GLD SOV this time, 10 year yield, and then go through some of the ETFs and individual companies to gauge what the sector's doing and how it looks. Again, this is just my financial opinion. Please don't use it as advice. Uh, but let's dive in and take a look at what the charts are telling us. So this is gold and silver. We've got the dollar, uh, daily dollar and daily gold price. Uh, I had to do this a little bit before market close. Uh, looks like the dollar was coming back up. We are still down a little bit in gold. At the moment was heading down, but still in positive territory. Looking at the dollar from a little bit bigger perspective, uh, I drew the line through here, uh, and, and this thing's morphing as we get more data. Uh, but this is probably the best line of fit, I'm guessing, uh, for here. So we broke out, pulled back, and we could head higher here for the dollar index. Uh, so that's what I'm seeing for the dollar index is potentially higher. Uh, today it was kind of flat, so we just had a flat day today. Looking at the 10-year yield, the 10-year yield is going down. We have not violated this downtrend, though, which is underneath it in this area here so we can go a little bit down further uh, before we hit support <clears throat> so that's where the 10-year yields at and if we see the 10-year yield dive all the way down uh, we could have a potential problem but right now nothing too bad to worry about gold gold looking strong it's firming up we have that slight positive up day today uh, it's still the, the buyers are still in control and it still has the chance to to break on up we have, to, we have to see it. The buyers have to step in here and, and, and push it higher. Uh, and silver sticking around. I don't see too many large sell-off days. Uh, we've broken the downtrend line, so everything's still intact. There's nothing here signaling that I'm worrying about anything. Now, if we see a large sell-off, big old candlestick downward, I'd worry a little bit that we may head lower, but right now everything looks in check. It looks, looks okay. And... Platinum looks fine too. We broke the downtrend here. You can throw that in here so you guys can see. I'm just throwing in simple downtrend lines here. Uh, and we could fall back a little bit more uh, even. But I think we're going to find some support in this area down here and then head back up. We break out, we retest, and then we, we go. So everything's falling in line. We broke the downtrend on GDX. Small down days. Nothing to worry about. I, I still think the buyers are in control and that we are going to head to the upside. Uh, as far as I can tell. Uh, same same for Sil J. Broken down trend line, and we're heading on higher, I think, because we have small down days. And what that what I'm looking for is I'm looking for, for strong selling pressure. And we're not getting strong selling pressure, which means the buyers are still there. That we're still going to march this up until we see sellers step in and push it lower. And I haven't seen the sellers step in. So I'm going to remain with the trend, which is up. And that's all I'm looking. I'm looking at these little candlesticks on the right-hand side here. We, we broke this, we broke the downtrend line. We broke it here. We broke the downtrend line. And we I don't see the seller stepping in here, whopping it. So I am going with the momentum, the, the, the momentum up. Now, this could pull back for kind of a retest or, or kind of pulls back a little. It always does these little funky moves like that, where you create a, a high, a lower high, or I should say a higher low, and then a higher high. That It always does that stair step pattern. Very much like this. Stair steps higher. But everything looks okay. And EXK looks okay. Uh, a little bit of resistance here. We, could we have a little pullback? We could. Uh, but everything looks good. Small down days. Big buying pressure up days. Uh, looks good. Uh, Discovery Silver. A little bit more sell off here. Coming into some resistance uh, in here. We've got some support right underneath it. At a buck 41. So we'll see what happens tomorrow. Uh, Koya Silver, I mean, we got the downtrend line broken. Is it going to retest it? Very well could. Uh, and there's your line that you could potentially go back to and still be okay. It's down here at a dollar. Will it pull all the way down? Guys, I don't know the exact short term. I can't, I don't have a crystal ball, but everything looks good. It's still intact. And Newmont looks good. Small down days, bigger up days, but more buying pressure than selling pressure. We just got to get through some of this sticky resistance areas. 
as we climb back higher. Uh, and Franco Nevada has these small down days. So I think it looks good. And a lot of the time what happens is you come down and it mirrors your 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 way down is going to mirror the way up. So we, we got stuck here a little bit. We're probably going to get stuck a little bit and then break on higher. Uh, wheat and precious metals, nothing to worry about here. It still looks good. Uh, and then Teuton Resources, let's throw in a trend line. Uh, actually, the trend trend kind of goes through there, right through there. And we're right there at that, that trend line, using it as support, grinding it higher, uh, grinding it lower right now. Uh, so that's Teuton Resources, small little royalty company. I just like watching it. I own I own some Teuton Resources. Um, so that's what I that's what I have for today. Uh, I don't know why my screen just did that, but uh, that's what I have for today. Hopefully, uh, this gives you a little bit better picture. I don't see any problems uh, in that setup there. So, gold and silver look good. Big buying pressure, small selling pressure. Uh, everything looks pretty solid to me. So, I'm holding on. I'm riding this thing higher. Uh, and even if the charts didn't look as good, I would still be riding this. I, I, I believe that structurally underneath that this stuff's going to go higher because of inflation from a expansionary phase of real estate. And then we're going to eventually have higher interest rates uh, that that chases that inflation to slow down uh, the loaning. And that's what happens in history. That's what is ripe for a gold and commodity bull market. So I'm sticking with those guns. Uh, everything looks good on the real estate front uh, and, and inflation still high. Interest rates, interest rates have pulled back a little bit. They have pulled back, but they're still above the support line. So everything is a go as far as I can tell. If you guys like this content, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And thank you for listening. This is Finding Value.